Dante, what did that feel like for you going out there in your first career start <clears throat> playing that way? I mean, a win is a win. It's always good to have a team win and really go out there with my brothers through the hours of hard practice, uh, through the hours of just blood, sweat, and tears, and coming out with a win. I said, so that's, you know, that's the goal to go 1-0. and So it's always a true blessing to go out there and be 1-0. Is that kind of what you, is this game kind of what you envisioned when you committed to UCLA? I mean, first of all, I committed to UCLA, I mean, just coming out here, I always thought college football was going to be amazing, and, and, and it turned out it is amazing. Like I said, in high school, man, there wasn't much big stadiums, and, you know, especially Detroit, it's not much big stadiums. It's not like Texas football, but coming out here, just seeing how the Rose Bowl looked, very pretty. Like I said, great fans. And then coming out here in San Diego, this is my second time not out here, but it's, it's beautiful as well. Like I said, we stayed in, uh, in our hotel. I got to see Coronado Island again. My first time out here, I stayed at Coronado Island, like, probably two years ago, but it's always beautiful to be out here. And, Great atmosphere for sure. When did you find out you were starting and what was kind of your reaction in that moment? Uh, truthfully, we all found out, I think, the day before the game or really just seeing how practice went. Um, like I said, uh, with, you know, with the quarterback room, we we'll always keep supporting each other. If I'm starting with the ones, if Garth's not the ones, if Con's not the ones, whoever starts with the ones, we're always going to uplift each other and make sure that if I make a mistake, they're going to correct me. If they make a, mistake, make a mistake, I'm going to correct them. So, like I said, I appreciate, you know, how we are as brothers and we never hate anything like that. We always make sure, make, sure, make sure that we always succeed. So, How helpful was it for your comfort level to have been here and been at UCLA in the spring and be able to, to get settled in? If I would have came in the fall or whenever, I think I would be screwed right now for sure. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually really happy that I got the chance to come in early. You know, got to get the credits for high school and to come out here. Like I say, as a quarterback, it's always good to get out there early to, to your school and really get to see how the offense is, especially go through spring ball. Like I said, you know, I keep bringing them up always, but like having a lot to, you know, coming off the edge, beating down your back, just really trying to, you know, put that pressure on you. It's actually helping out a lot. Like I said, when it, of course, in the pocket, a lot of teams are going to blitz, a lot of teams are going to send that pressure, but it's having that at practice, seeing how different fronts are, different coverages. I mean, like I said, I really appreciate the defense for all the hard work they put in to make sure we are successful, but like I said, it's, it's amazing for sure how everything is. So how different did you feel this week compared to last week? Ooh. Your friends wise, atmosphere, of course, Rose Bowl. I mean, Rose Bowl is amazing. I know coming in that, coming into the Rose Bowl, like, it just gave me chills, really more, because seeing how the fans were, seeing how just the production everything was, but really, game-wise, playing-wise, uh, I mean, when I was on the sideline, I was waiting for my number to be called. So I was just more antsy, couldn't wait, and then they told me to get ready, and I went out there, did my thing, but really, when I came in, took the first snap, uh, this game, like I said, I felt I felt more calm for sure. I felt more that I had a lot in control and for sure what I can do because if I went out there, I got to see how the defensive looks were, you know, first, you know, fall the first snap. So really, when it came to, like I said, it's different from when you get your number called in the second quarter than you know going out there for the first snap. So more comfortable, more comfortable in your reads. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure. You tied the school record, uh, Josh Rosen, and uh, keep it down. Two freshman, three touchdown passes. Does that feel pretty special? I mean, it feels amazing. Like I said, without the whole line giving me the time to, you know, get the protection and get the ball to the playmakers, of course, like I said, it can't be. Like, when it comes to the records, if it comes to, like, any stats, like I said, I'm proud of my brothers, you know, great for my deep, great for the defense, getting the ball stopped on the half-yard line. I mean, even though it was a little turnover, but just having the defense like that to stop and actually catch a pick and so then score down, go down and score. I mean, it's just an amazing team win. Like I said, it's a true blessing. I'm glad that we got the team win. To play those first three quarters, how was that communicated to you throughout the game? And, and did you know you know you were going to be, be out there that long? I mean, like I said, every chance that I get, every chance, every snap that I get, I'm going to go put 100 percent effort into it. Like I said, if Coach Kelly you know, took me on the second drive, whatever it is, I'm always going to be on the sideline waiting and make sure that I'm always ready. But like I said, it's a true blessing to play as long as I did today. Like I said, uh, the old line trusted me, the team trusted me, so I'm glad to you know, carry the UCLA to them. Good morning. Coming out of the road, yeah. What was that kind of environment differential between you? Um, I love playing away. I like really going to different crowds and seeing how they react. Of course, it's my first time in the Rose Bowl, so I was really excited about that. But when you when you really play away, I like to see how the fans are, you know, chatting and you know, screaming names, all types of stuff like that. But I love playing away. I just love seeing how people react. And when you walk to somebody else's house and you know, get the win there, like I said it's a better thing for sure. You guys travel a long way and put the hard work. You didn't have to turn around and start next week. So, I think you didn't have tonight to start next week. Got to keep getting better every day. I don't know about that. Like I said, between Coach Kelly and staff, I guess I'm better myself, be better than teammates, and less than we do.
you were coming down the tunnel and then you went back out to give a kid your glove, a fist bump. Did you know that kid? What, what was that? Uh, something you did spontaneous? I mean, true fans. Like I said, they're fans and a lot of fans come out here and take their time out of the day just to come out here and watch us play. Like I said, you know, really appreciate them. Really appreciate seeing a good crowd of UCLA fans, especially being away. You know, even though it's two and a half hours, but just seeing how the fans came to support. You know, if they're sitting there for that long, about three-hour game, you know, getting something they've been waiting on. Of course, it's, they came to watch the game, but every chance they get to, you know, get something from us, like a you know wristband or something like that, it's always good to see kids smile for sure. Like I said, if I was a kid, I remember being at the big house when I was a kid back home, just watching the game, and they'll get throw me a glove or something like that. I know what I was feeling is, and I always make sure people around me that I've had that feeling, have the same feeling I had when I was a kid. Tony, you're the first time in the last 